I don't know a thing about you. Oh, I can tell you everything about me, who I am and what I do, but it'd be a waste of time because I'm going to lie. Now, why would you lie? Well, I don't want to impress you. And if I told you what I really did, you wouldn't be very impressed. Why don't you let me be the judge of that? What do you do? I'm a dance hall hostess. Hmm. You see, you shouldn't let me lie. I was going to be an assistant dental technician. Well, that doesn't sound very impressive. Well, it does to a dance hall hostess. <laughs> Tell me now, why would you take a job like that? Oh, I don't know. Sick old finger of fate, I guess. Say what? Sick old finger of fate. Don't you know what that means? Yes, I think I do. Well, I don't, not really. But people always ask me, why'd you take up with that guy, or how'd you end up in that joint? And I got so embarrassed saying I don't know, but the truth was I didn't. So now anybody asks me how or why, I just say, this little finger of fate, and I don't get embarrassed anymore. I think you just like saying it. I think you're right. Fickle finger paint. <laughs> Fickle finger paint. It feels good, you know. It it cools the mouth. Do you want to try it? All right. Fickle finger paint. Do you like it? Yes, it was very nice. <laughs> I got I got lots of phrases I like to say, like if some wise acre at the Fandango says something fresh to me, I like to say up yours. You do. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. It fits almost any question. <laughs> of course, uh, I wouldn't say it to a nice, fine gentleman like you. I mean, you say, why do you have to take a job as a dance host? And I say, of oh, yours. You know, it just isn't nice. But I can say, big two finger, say, can I? You certainly can. In fact, I think we should drink to it. Okay. To the uh, single finger. Up, uh, fate. Bottoms up. Up, yours.